guys, Angel here, and today, um, I'll be reviewing, um, the second Paw Patrol Original 5S Shorts for Mighty Heroes Month. And the first one is, um, and the second one is, um, Mighty Puffs Charge Up, Puffs vs. the Copycat Marshall. I've seen it, and, oh my gosh, like, mmm. No! No, 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 I would not be a very happy ice princess. This is my bonnet pup you're you're messing with, copycat, and you just framed M Molly's bonnet pup, okay? She's upset about this. She's not okay with this. But anyway, but anyway, let me talk to you about the episode. Like, what's it about? And then I'll give it, give it, like, I'll review about it, tell you what I like, what I didn't like, and give you my overall sco score. So the episode begins up with Haley Daly telling telling the breaking news that all the ice cream has melted for Adventure Base Sunday Fun Day, and she said that an uh, eyewitness says that surprisingly it was Mighty Marshall that's causing all this mighty heat problem. And we saw like the mighty heat Marshall's mighty vehicle in like like a mighty Marshall costume, and he, the mighty heat is just like. Like, melted the uh, umbrella bar where, like, the turbids are under and try to cool it down. And then Mergui says, um, happy Sunday fun day. But unfortunately, not before the light pole got mighty heated and landed, on bended, and then on top of Mergui's car. She can't get out, so Chicoletta bravely, bravely try to call, get for help, but I'm pretty sure that she's sleeping on the road. I think so. Let me check. Hang on. No, I think she's not... She's not getting help. I think she just got out and just, you know, like, do what ch normal chickens do. So, like, Haley Daly explained that, like, um... That the heat causing culprit is Mighty Marshall. The Paw Patrol is on the way. D or, like, is it? I mean, like, Haley Daly thought that, you know, that the Mighty Pups are the Paw Patrol are causing trouble. Which is not, that's just not, like, never ever going to happen. That's, like, like, breaking Breaking the natural order. So Rebel, so we got Mighty Rebel to lift up the uh, pole where like Mirgo is trapped, and she got out. She went up to Chicoletta. Then Haley Daly asked Ryder, "Is it true? Has Marshall gotten heat mad?" And like you, I saw like the face expression on Ryder because like he knows like. He doesn't know how to answer this question. I think that that what kind of question is like kind of a bit of a touchy subject because like Ryder knows that like, none of the pups would do anything evil. I mean like Molly knows like this is Molly's pup we're talking about. I mean Molly's bonded pup we're talking about, and she knows that Marsha would never use the power of heat or fire type or like fire related powers for evil. Even Rebel, I mean, Rebel, I mean, Rebel himself says that, that, like, Marshall causing this heat madness, it was not, is not true. But Haley says, like, he just calls him what he, she sees. She only calls him what she sees. So she went off to ask another, like, viewee. I mean, I mean, like, to become a news reporter, you gotta look at the facts first before you jump like, you can't jump into, like, 
conclusions without getting, like, the facts straight. I mean, that's called, like, I learned this in U.S. history. It's called yellow journalism. It's when, like, somebody wants someone else to tell, how, like, you know, make up, like, a lie. Like, a like a big lie thinking that is, like, thinking it is true, but in actuality is not. Mar Ryder immediately knew, like, that, like, Marshall would never do anything like that. I mean, that's out of his character. So he called in Marshall, and, like, he says, Marshall, are you there? And then, see the mocking voice? The mocking voice of that sneaky, smart Alec bat talking cat. The copycat. Like, smart Alec thinks, like, that like, he makes, like, some smart, sort of, like, smart comment, like, kind of, like, back-talking, kind of, like, back-talking in a more, like, an annoying way, and, like, it was none other than the copycat in a more, in, like, you know, Mark, and sort of, like, what appears to be Marshall's mighty, mighty costume, that he wears as a body, like, people think that it was actually Marshall that's doing it, and Ryder immediately knew that he stole Marshall's mighty vehicle. And the only reason why my, the, my copycat stole Marshall's vehicle is so Valway, is so Valway like he can ruin fun, Sunday fun day and making everyone think that Marshall was the one who caused it, all of that, caused this mess. And if, and if like, if he, if he gets everyone to believe that mighty Marshall caused all of this mess so badly, if, nobody would ever want help in the Paw Patrol, like, ever again. He won't, he's trying to ruin the Paw Patrol reputation. I'm, I mean, like, that's, like, the worst crime to do. That's, like, literally the worst crime you could do on Paw Patrol. I mean, you hear me, copycat? You will never, ever ruin the Paw Patrol. So you should just stop trying before you get a big nasty time out from Haley Daly. Once... Wants the puppet wants the puppet to figure out your true identity, Mr. Nibbles. So like Rubble knew so like the good news is that like it was it's not really Marshall, but merely the copycat. But the bad news is nobody not every not every, everybody else doesn't know that it was everybody else didn't know that it was Marshall that that's copycat and not Marshall. And that leaves an important question. If copycat was the one driving Marshall's mighty vehicle, then where's Marshall? And then Ryder called in Chase. I think he was on a mission. And then, like, he said, like, in sort of, like, a confused way, like, like, he seen Marshall, but he's, like, saying the confusing way. He's like, uh, Sky is rescuing him? Just rescuing him? Cause like he has no idea like why Ryder asked that question, and we saw like Mighty Sky, yay! Uh, but she has a sp she doesn't have a speaking role, and besides she's in Sky, we're only there for like probably like five seconds, and it turns out he was just rescuing Precious, and Precious the owner was there, so Marshall explained that he was just trying to get the kitten out of the tree, rescue a kitten in the tree, but then like. Something whooshed in super fast and stole Marshall's vehicle, and then, like, Ryder tells him that it was the copycat did it. Um, then, like, Marshall came in here with his regular fire truck. They both, Marshall and Rebel charged up, which it turns out that was, like, the Mar like, Rebel and, like, that those two clips we've seen, like, during the uh, Mighty Month. And I think one of the clips. Like, with the three Marshall and Rebel 360 spin in, like, the Charge Up Finale trailer. It turns out that it was just, that it's part of, like, the Mighty Pups short. And so they charged up. Copycat mocks them again. And, like, he uses Mighty Heat to, like, overheat Ryder's jetpack. Like, touche. But then, like, Ryder will be fine. So Ryder told the pups to, like, go get the copycat, so they did, um, Rebel used, um, his battering ram to stop the copycat, but unfortunately, the copycat uses mighty heat and overheat 
Rebel's vehicle with the, um, over, which caused the, the vehicle not to work anymore, it's not in hover mode anymore, but Rebel, Rebel, but Rebel's getting wrecking and rolling with it. So he uses my powers to get the boulder, to get the copycat, like, flung out of Mighty Marshall's um, hover car. And I think it was kind of like in a slow-mo action, and he landed in the bush. But unfortunately, without a driver, Marshall's Mighty Vigo goes, like, out of control. So Mighty Marshall has to get to it before it has to get Mr. Porth Cafe and Sunday Funny would be ruined. And, like, Ryder told Marshall to do super jump. So Marshall just super jumps and go for it. And then, like, you get to the point where, like, Marshall was about to get into, like, his my vehicle. You got, like, yet another slow-mo action. He made it, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday Funday is safe. And Haley Daly realized it's her mistake, so she apologized to Marshall for the redundance of, like, the act, the mistake. Copycat transformed back. And Marsh, like, Haley Daly apologized to, like, Marshall for mistaking him for, like, Copycat. And, like, Marshall, Marshall accepted the apology, but he was kind of he was saddened that, like, the copycat got away, and, like, we already knew that it's Mr. Nibbles, Haley Daly's pet cat, it, that is the copycat, so they can get on with F Sunday Fun Day. I really like the uh, slow-mo action they added. That's, like, the they added in um, Mighty Pup in the short. And, like, Mar Rebel and Marshall's um, charge up. I, once again, I love the 360 charge up spin. Um, this, like, we, I didn't see Zuma or Rocky at all, so I think, like, only certain pups will be chosen for this episode. For either, like, for the main short or, like, you know, sup or, like, minor characters in this short. Like, Chase and Sky first was Chase and Sky for the, um, for, first it was, um, Sky and Rebel for. The first original five short, the main one was Rocky and Chase. And then this time it was Sky and Chase in their mighty gear. The the who's the minor and Rebel and Marshall both in their mighty gear are the main. And what I didn't like is how copycat like Sunday Fun Day. I wonder can we make that an actual thing here? Can we? Like, Adventure Break always has, like, these strange holidays. Like, Hat Day. Like, the Jambor Jamboree. I mean, the Adventure Break got some weird, but interest. Some, like, holidays are, like, really weird. And other than they're just, like, fun. Like, Sunday Fun Day. <laughs> um, what I didn't like is the copycat framing Marshall. Like, Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh. I wonder if, like, I'm not sure if, like, the next, like, the following Friday will be the final, um, Mighty Puffs Charge Up episode. But I personally hope that, like, that, um, um, like, there's gonna be another episode where Copycat decided, like, either, like, Copycat, or, like, Copycat or, like, another villain, a shapeshifter might be villain, like, from another pup, um, it'll be interesting to see, like, Scott, maybe, like, Sky be framed, and oh my gosh, I don't think Chase would like that at all, like, personally, he would not like that at all, he'll probably be, like, you know, like, saying, like, Sky would never do that, and then, like, she'll be, like, he'll be, like, so mad to find out, like, I'm not sure if he'll be mad or, like, to find out about that. Um, or it could be Chase. I, I was thinking, I was going to say Chase, but then again, but then again, that already happened in, like, um, Mission Pod Quest for the Crown where Sweetie framed Chase for stealing the crown. It could be so. It could be Sky, 
Tracker, hopefully, Everest, hopefully, Rubble, Rocky, Zuma, or maybe even Tucking Out, Tucker Ella. Um, it was really interesting. It was really fun. Thank goodness, like, Marshall's reputation, that the Paw Patrol reputation is saved, and Marshall's cleared his name. I give this a 5 out of 5. So, um, thank you all for so much for joining in, and I'll tune in next Friday for a double, a back-to-back, -back, um, Mighty Pups charged up episode. So, this is Angel Eye Storm saying, um... Mar Copycat, you're never going to ruin the my the Paw Patrol reputation, dude. So you should stop trying. So you should just give up and stop trying. And if you ever met, and if you ever framed the one of those pups again, I'm going to tell every Molly is going to tell everyone. Or Saf, or I will for or I will use my future vision power, and tell everybody that your true identity, okay. And Marshall, and Mo as for Molly, ooh, you, she's going, let's just say, uh, I can't say it, no, I think Molly, Molly's gonna give you a little talk with, um, Haley Daly, and she's gonna tell, and she's going to, like, tell, tell, like, what, tell her, like, what she's, what Saf, her friend, like, what I told her, what I foresee in the future, so... Peace.